Welcome to the Harmony of the Seas. I'm gonna do a full tour. This is Jason here. You're gonna like this tour because we're gonna take it venue by venue. We're gonna start off right here in the main pool area. The main pool area has two hot tubs on either side. It's right in front of the Perfect Storm water slides. I like the hot tubs here on the ship because they all have canopies, so you are protected from the sun so you can just relax. Directly on the other side is the beach pool. The beach pool is really neat. Some of the water overflows to the legs of the lounge chairs. You can dip your toes in the water. Directly in the middle of both the pools, check this out, it's Central Park. Going toward the back of the ship is the sports pool. A lot of activities take place here. For example, the crew will play a game of volleyball against the guests. Let's go ahead and head on back more toward the front of the ship and take a look at the Perfect Storm water slide. There are three slides. My favorite slide is the slide where you get thrown out into a big bowl and go round and round and round. Going back to the sports pool, if you look across the sports pool, right across is Splash Away Bay. This is the kids' splash area. Here you're going to find plenty of water toys, big splash buckets, water slides. It's an excellent area just to let your kids go play and have a good time. Let's take a look at some of the attractions. So we're going to head all the way to the back of the ship and start off with a tour of the flow riders. There are two flow riders back here. One you're going to surf on and the other one you're going to bodyboard on. Before you wait in line for one of the flow riders, make sure you sign your waiver. Check this out. In between both of the flow riders is the ultimate abyss slide. It's not a water slide. It's a dry slide and it goes from the sports court all the way down to the boardwalk. Here in the boardwalk, you'll also find the aqua theater. Here you're gonna watch amazing shows. People dive off high platforms, walk on tight wires, and do all kinds of flips and acrobatics. Seating is limited, so if you wanna have the best experience, get here early. Heading back up to the sports court is the mini golf. All the activities up here, including the flow rider and the zip line, are all included there are no extra charges and if you want to play some mini golf the clubs and the balls are right here you do not need a reservation if we look over the railings right here right next to the mini golf we can see the boardwalk and you'll notice there are balcony cabins not all cabins are ocean view right across from the mini golf is the basketball court it's a full court and there are different kinds of activities here for example besides basketball you can also play soccer dodgeball and paddleball. Let's take a look at the dining venues. This right here is the Windjammer Buffet. It's open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It is completely complimentary. We're gonna go over the complimentary dining venues and the specialty restaurants. Now, keep in mind folks that the Harmony of the Seas, the Oasis of the Seas, and the Symphony of the Seas are all sister ships. So they are almost identical. And if you wanna book either one, make sure you give me a call. You see, is what we do is we provide discounted rates. That's right, we've partnered with Royal Caribbean. We're able to offer you their promotions, but in addition, guess what? We give you a discount on top of that. Our clients absolutely love us. To get the discount, to get the best rate guaranteed, which is what we offer, you must give us a call. These rates are not published on our website. These are unpublished rates. Let's head on over to the front of the ship and take a look at the Solarium Bistro. During the day, for breakfast and lunch, it's a buffet. At night, it turns into a specialty restaurant. If you're gonna hang out in the Solarium, it's a convenient spot to grab a bite to eat. We're gonna tour the Solarium here in a little bit. Going more toward the sports court is Mini Bites. Here you can grab a hot dog, a hamburger, nachos. Let's head on down to Deck 11 and take a look at Wonderland. Wonderland is an exquisite dining experience. You choose dishes based on five natural elements, earth, sea, fire, ice, and sun. The menu is creative. To be able to see it, you need to brush the menu with a paintbrush dipped in water. This is considered specialty. If you want to know the pricing of all the specialty restaurants that are on the ship, check out the link that I posted down below the description of the video under dining. Let's head on down to Central Park and take a look at 150 Central Park West. Central Park West is exceptional because each dish consists of locally sourced ingredients. So it's 
farm to cruise ship. Some of the dishes are actually prepared tableside. Let's check out another dining venue here in Central Park. Let's head on over to Chop's Grill. Chop's Grill is the steakhouse. And as what is exquisite about Chop's Grill is that the chefs hand cut, season, and grill each steak to your specifications. It's a good idea to make a reservation beforehand. You can do that when you do your online check-in. Now you can either eat inside or outside here in Central Park. Park Cafe is also another dining venue that you're gonna find right here in Central Park. It's a more relaxed environment. You do not need a reservation. You can come on in, get a salad, a sandwich, a dessert. There's also a drink station. If you wanna come here in the morning and grab a coffee, sit out here, you can. Directly across from Park Cafe is Jamie's Italian. What you'll enjoy about Jamie's Italian is that they make their own pasta. Over here on the boardwalk is Starbucks. Remember, there are complimentary coffees all over the ship, but if you'd like a specialty coffee, head on over to Starbucks. Still here on the boardwalk, if we head past the carousel, we're gonna go right into Sabor. This right here is the Mexican restaurant. This is also considered specialty. Directly across from Sabor is Johnny Rockets. This is an old time diner serving classic hamburgers and shakes. If you like, you can order right up here at the bar. Over on the Royal Promenade is Sorrento's. This is the pizza place. What you'll enjoy about Sorrento's besides their tasty pizza is that they are open up late. So when everything else closes, like the buffet and the restaurants, you can always come in here and grab a slice of pizza. It's, it's perfect for a late night after party. Cafe Promenade is right across from Sorrento's. They serve delicious sandwiches, desserts, muffins, there's also a drink station, so you can come in here and grab a coffee. And they also serve specialty coffee. Let's head on into the main dining room. The main dining room spans three decks. You can get into the main dining room from deck three, four, and five. Each deck corresponds to a different name. So for example, if you enter into the restaurant from deck three, it'll be American Icon Room. If you go in from deck four, it's Grande. And deck five is Silk. There are two dining times. There is a early or late dining. Or as what a lot of people like to do is go in to my time dining. In which case you can go in anytime you want. The restaurant is open for dinner. Keep in mind that one floor of the restaurant will be open for breakfast and lunch. Keep in mind that the main dining room is complimentary. Let's take a look at some of the entertainment. Let's head on over to the front of the ship and take a look at the Royal Theater. Royal Caribbean is known for their entertainment. So here in the theater, you'll watch musicals, magic shows, comedians. They'll also offer game shows. Also, if you do a shore excursion, most likely you'll meet up here in the theater in the morning. Let's head on over to Studio B. This is the ice rink. Most likely you'll come in here to watch one of the amazing ice shows. But check this out. On a sea day, if you like, you can come in here and ice skate. Right next to the theater is Jazz on 4, where you can come on in and listen to live jazz music. There are live music venues throughout the entire ship. And is what people really like about Royal Caribbean is that there is many different types. So there is usually something for everybody. Right across from Jazz on 4 is the attic. This is the nightclub, and it's also where the comedians will put on their shows. At night, you can also enjoy parties such as the silent party. Keep in mind that sometimes the comedians will do their shows in the theater. Let's head on up to deck eight. Take a look at Dazzles. Dazzles is an old style nightclub where you will listen to swing, to disco, to classic rock bands. The venue spans two decks, so you can either sit downstairs or upstairs. Is what I recommend is that when you're here, you try the Moscow Ginger Mule, or you can try the Ultimate Mai Tai. After you enjoy one of those tasty drinks and listen to some good music, and you want to continue the party, you might want to head down to Boleros. Boleros is the Latin nightclub. At nighttime, anytime you're on the Royal Promenade, you're gonna hear music and noise coming out of Boleros. It's a popular dance spot. There's a nice little bar right here. There are plenty of comfortable couches. It's a perfect spot just to come in and hang out and have a drink. It's a relaxing spot in the early evening. Right across the hall is on air. If you like sports, you can catch your favorite game here or you can enjoy fun activities like karaoke. 
If you want a more relaxed environment to have a drink, come on over to the Trellis Bar. It's right here in the middle of Central Park. Right down the way from the Trellis Bar is Vintages. This is the wine bar. It's a very relaxing and cozy environment to come on in and enjoy fine wines. Also, keep an eye out for their wine tastings. They're very informative and fun. Over here on deck seven is Schooner Bar. Here you can enjoy your favorite tunes played by a piano player. There is also a perfect view of the Royal Promenade from here. Take a look at this. We're gonna head back to deck eight and take a look at the Rising Tide Bar. The Rising Tide Bar is amazing. You can come on in here from Deck 8 and ride it all the way down to Deck 5 while you're enjoying a refreshing drink. Then if you like, you can take it from Deck 5 and go all the way back up to Deck 8 and you'll be right back to Central Park. If you do ride the Rising Tide Bar from Deck 8 down to the Royal Promenade, you can stay here for a while and check out Boot and Bonnet. This is an English style pub. My favorite part about Boot and Bonnet is the live music that they play at night. It's always one singer playing an acoustic guitar. If you like, you can also have a drink right out here on the Royal Promenade. Right in front of the Rising Tide Bar is the Bionic Bar. Here, robots are gonna make your drinks for you. And it's simple. You just swipe your card, choose your drink on the iPad right here, you're gonna see your name up on the screen, wait for your drink to be ready, swipe your card, and your drink is gonna be served right to you. Let's take a look at the casino. This is one of the biggest casinos that you're gonna find on a cruise ship. There's blackjack, roulette, Texas Hold'em, three card poker, and all different kinds of tournaments. A fun place to hang out here in the casino is the bar. It sits right here in the center. After a good night of gambling and partying and dancing, if you just need a day where you wanna relax, head on over to the spa. You can get yourself a nice massage or you can head on over here into the thermal suites, enjoy the steam room or the sauna, or you can head on over to the fitness center and work out. The fitness center is humongous. There are plenty of machines, stair masters, there are treadmills, you can take a yoga class, a spin class, or you can head on down here to the jogging track. The jogging track goes all the way around deck five. Now, if we head on back to the entrance of the spa, take a look at this. This is the Vitality Cafe. After a good night of drinking and partying, this is a perfect spot to come on in and get a healthy smoothie to revitalize. Let's take a look at the solarium. The solarium is floor to ceiling, wall to wall windows. It's all the way here at the front of the ship. There are plenty of places to relax, lie down in the sun. There are jacuzzis, cabanas. I recommend that you come in here and relax on a sea day. It is an excellent spot just to come in and chill. There's a bar close by. Remember the Solarium Bistro is right around the corner. So you do not need to leave this area. Everything here is conveniently located. Also, the Solarium spans three decks. It is humongous. It is an adult area and take a look at this. Over here in the corner, if you like, you can come on out here and there are perfect views of the ocean. If you look up from the middle deck right here, take a look at this. Right here is the Solarium Bar. Take a look at this. Right outside of the Solarium Bar is a really cool hot tub. It has perfect views of the ocean. There are floor to ceiling windows. Thank you for joining me on the tour. My name is Jason. Remember, to get the best rate guaranteed, give me a call. My number is right there on the screen. I hope you have a wonderful day wherever you may be.